I have, okay, so I do have something to say about our brother, Mr. Um, Tony Browder. You know, love his work. I will say that. I will say that. But he did um, speak out about Woman King. I hate that name, by the way. But I read his quote about it. And again, this isn't to disparage him. I would just say I don't agree with it. And mm -hmm. reparations is a check, but I'm just going to say that up front. But he says... <laughs> The Woman King is the closest we've gotten to cinematic reparations. It was magnificent. It made me love Africa and made me love African women more. Did I say it was magnificent? This is our brother, Tony Browder. Um, and again, maybe he means the acting. Maybe he means the special effects, the fight scenes. Like, you know, it's okay to be entertained. All right, so let's deal, let's deal with the Tony Browder thing, man, because... Um... I definitely understand where you're coming from, but I had a, I had a different reaction when I saw Anthony Browder's post. When they first um, announced this movie some time ago, you know, red flags all over the place. And so I didn't have any um, plans on seeing the movie. But the other day when I woke up and I saw Anthony Browder, I think that was the first post I, post I saw in the morning too. Anthony Browder has a background in um, graphic design and he's known to do movie breakdowns. And so I know he's not just looking at it from an entertainment standpoint. Anthony Browder has an eye for imagery, for messaging, for all of the all of those things that we talk about. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the propaganda that we got to look out for from the dominant society, he's known to expose it and break it down. When I saw that, that just made me um, reserve judgment for now. I haven't seen the movie and I'm just going to reserve judgment. But now, from a personal standpoint, so I get to see the movie and analyze it for myself.